I wonder if they can hear you go. T -t -t -t. I don't know. I cut kind of a lot off last time when I checked on it. Did it? Mm -hmm. It would be nice if it was the same, like, three seconds. Delay. I bet you get to see that more in, like, um... Of course, they get to see me with Permagrin. Why wouldn't Yeah. <laughs> it might be... Okay. We're good. We are live. Yay! Happy Wednesday Friends Day! <laughs> I'm so glad you're here with me in studio. Uh, Emily is also here with me today in the studio. Hello. Uh, we're going to do a quick little couple show and tells of videos that are coming up and we're going to get straight to painting a cardinal waving. So first, I, I like my post-its. I think I'm going to stick to the <laughs> post-its. Because also it says on there, Lucy Goosey, Friday, April 8th, 2022, and there's a traceable. And just this morning, I put a traceable up on my website. Yeah, I was going to say, you should give us a close-up because I like oh, the it? texture on his neck. See, I don't, that's the only thing I don't like about the good camera side of my phone is I can't yeah. tell. A little higher. Yeah, that's, yeah. I can't tell what's a good no, close-up. a little too high, but that's fine, you're fine. <laughs> well, I can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I always video on the bad, with the bad mm -hmm. camera. Um, and then Sunday, April tw uh, 10th, 2022, is Chicken Hearted. And it'll go up with a full start to finish video with a traceable. Is that close enough, Em? Yep, you're good. Okay, and if you'd put that on the easel over there. I guess you could be like a weather person. Oh, it's a little slow, so you can't really check your yeah, view. Yeah, the delay. Your I mean, viewfinder. I I, I've got my iPad. I don't know if it's in, in frame, I don't think but it I've is. got my iPad over here. And then I'm going to show you this one. It's posting Friday, April 15th. I'm probably going to take it to a gallery. So this will be the only time I can... Do a show and tell, probably. And should I go closer? Yeah. So it's uh, paint with me. There isn't a traceable, but you get to see me do it. Cute. Yeah. I love the little bees. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Really, really vibrant colors. Mm -hmm. But it's similar to some of my other videos. You're starting to catch on to how I do things. Mm -hmm. That sky is yummy, too. Okay, guys, we're going to do a fly over to my art table. I'm going to put you in this video arm, and we'll get started. And I've got my microphone on today. <laughs> Uh-oh, we are didn't we already tangled? Oh, no, you just need to step over the lump. No, there's... Oh, you don't? No, oh, right. okay. I'll just do it. <laughs> Instead of arguing. <laughs> is something missing? Why does this seem more open? Oh, just different, maybe. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that have changed. Do you need more tape? Because I, I no. need to... Um, I I'm just going to aggressively shake the camera yeah. well I um <laughs> set it up and then I pulled up my tape marks because they were looking pretty dirty although so is my background my uh, I've got a sheet of canvas tape to my art table and underneath it I've got a piece of plastic I think I'm gonna use I have some uh, 24 by 18 inch canvas panels mm hmm I think I'm just gonna I've got one over here it actually makes my table a little bit bigger I think I'm gonna put another one underneath Oh, I hear Emily typing, so I'll let her think. So hang on a second, guys, while I put a tape mark. Having a permanent and only one setup does have its advantages. But then you can only, like, if we always do a tabletop, we can only paint up to a certain size. I'm sure we'll change and figure things out down the road. I think that tape mark up there is pretty good. So it is blowing sideways here in Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> and I know, I think only old people talk about the weather. I'm not sure. Or I just threw old people under the bus for no reason now. Um, but it was like, it's not raining, but it was almost like it's blowing rain out of the clouds. It's blowing so hard. Yeah, it's... um. Oh, I know what I did. I put, hooked myself up on the wrong side. I told you to step over the whole lump. <laughs> she told me, people. <laughs> Um, it's, yeah, it's like the Forrest Gump, how he says it's raining oh, sideways or whatever. Yeah, it's dang getting rain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the traceable's up on my website, AnnieTro.com. It's six by eight. Oh, it kind of, my printer cut it off a little bit. Um, I don't know why I'm saying, um. <laughs> Are you, oh, you can go to classes, and if you click classes, that's fine, or you can just let, let the uh, pop-down menu uh, open up and you go to more traceables and that's the landing page. And I put the newest traceables on the landing page. Here's the reference photo. Oh, Emily, would you check? I'm pretty sure I linked the reference photo in the video yeah. description. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to pin that up on my bulletin board. Uh... I painted on a 6x8 uh, canvas panel from Michaels. I painted 
Here, I better get out my palette. Actually, did I forget? I don't know if, I don't see it. I see your link to more traceables. YouTube, let's see here. Link this video. I don't see it. It might, it should be on Unsplash, I think. Yeah, I'll go to your Unsplash. But when you, when you have time, um, you can... Are you just logged in on the Unsplash forever on your computer? Yeah. Okay. But only, you know, if you need to chat with people and that. I'll just ignore them for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I took a little bit of Hooker's Green, some Burnt Umber, This is heavy body, just in case you're new to my channel. This is, uh, they call it student grade, but boy, it's a nice student grade. And the only difference Liquitex says is the heavy body is more heavily pigmented, but I, I cannot tell the difference. When I look at them, the only difference I can tell when I paint with them is this is thicker. The heavy body is thicker. I found it. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. I, I thought I did it, and then all of a sudden it popped into my head. There's a really cute, um, in your bird section, there's such a cute fat. I don't know if this is a blue jay, but he's oh, that's so a cute. That's a tucked cute. in tit mouse. Oh, okay. He's so cute. Should probably paint that one. Yeah, I've I've found more photos than I can paint. Okay, so I'm gonna pretend to be you and just uh, I'm gonna put it in the chat and then I'll add it to the description. Okay, thank you so much. Cad yellow medium hue, and then I have cad red medium. Titanium white, Mars black. So I took a little bit of burnt, a lot of white, a little bit of burnt umber, a little yellow, and I made an unbleached titanium. I do have unbleached titanium. Here, I'll put a little bit out, see if the color's close. But there's something goofy about this tube of unbleached titanium. Um, oh yeah, that's really close. It's drawing like it has a lot of extender in it and it's taking much longer to dry and it's stickier. But it's not sticky when I paint with it, but when it dries, it's like the formulation's different. Of course, I got it on Amazon, so I don't know. How old it is? But it's from Liquitex. It's not that old, it's the newer packaging. It oh. has like the the color numbers on it. I just, it's weird. I thought it was originally, I had painted um, a painting I thought it was the humidity in my studio. Hmm. It's sticky? It, it dries really slow and sticky, like there's a lot of um, oh. acrylic extender mm -hmm. in it or a lot of gloss medium in mm -hmm. it. Um, the Is that the one that dries shiny too? Yeah, it was. well, yeah, it takes a long time for the shining to go away. Oh. So I was saying it was drying shiny. Okay, we need to get going here. Get this. Oh, and then I um, used just a brown chalk pastel to scribble on the back of my traceable. Pretty much any brand will work. I've been liking, okay, this is going to sound like a commercial, but I've been liking the Hippie Crafter because it's a little on the harder side. And so the dust, you guys can't see, but when I put that chalk pastel down, I got a bunch of dust underneath it. Mm -hmm. um, the Hippie Crafter leans towards the harder side, and so there's not much dust. So I'm not dealing with dust. And I mean, I, I shake it into my garbage can anyway, the chalk pastel dust. But I'm like, there's not nearly as much. I'm like, I like that aspect. Kind of like a new pastel, but I think it's... It's a little softer than a, um, oh shoot, I can't think of the brand. It's NU Pastel. Is it Prismacolor? I think that's the brand. NU Pastel? Yeah. Do I've we look? Some, I've got some in my studio. Um, only if somebody wants to know or has a question. Okay. They can also leave in the comments if they're not watching live. I'm taking a kneaded eraser and I'm lightening up my um, brown chalk pastel. And then I lost a couple places, so I... Painted in a couple things just so I wouldn't lose the structure of my traceable. I think that sets the table. Um, I used a Royal and Lang Nickel three quarter inch flat brush and then just used my uh, unbleached titanium that I mixed white, a little bit of green, a little bit of brown, and just crisscrossed and just let it dry if it wants to dry and then come back over it. I usually have two or three layers even on my background. But they're thin layers. I had somebody um, someplace <laughs> ask about, they didn't like the texture they were getting. I'm like, oh, thin your paint down a little bit more maybe. You know, work thin to thick like an oil painter would. Okay, I think that sets the table. If anybody has any questions, let me know. 
I'm going to pop in maybe with some blacks here just so I don't lose them. Go ahead, Emily. Um, I was just going to say that um, we have Tinker Bonita and Tammy H in the chat. Hey, ladies. Thanks and for coming. Tinker says she's so excited for this. And Tammy says, me too. He's waving at us. I know it. <laughs> he was in the large bird painting I did. It was a 15 by 30. Ooh, I had a mm -hmm. bunch of birds on a wire. I think this is like a metal chair back or a shepherd's hook for like hanging a plant basket or maybe it's a bird feeder. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what that is. I went ahead and painted that just to keep this moving. It's black, uh, shades of gray. The re you could follow the reference photo, or I emphasize a little reflective light. Oh, I just, a little more too. <laughs> and then paint some black up a little higher. You could don't have to do it that way. Do I talk too much after you make comments? No. I no, jump in no. with thoughts. And um, Tinker says that YouTube's now suggesting all of your cardinal videos to her. <laughs> oh good, I have a few. That's good. What else do I want to kind of put in? I think I kind of want to put in just some gray here so I don't forget when I'm talking. I don't really know what that is. I think it's the underside of his wing or his body almost. That might be his body. And then I think that black is, is actually his wing. So I can see little feathers poking out. I like that little cork, inexpensive cork board. Mm -hmm. I can pin photos too, especially when I'm doing a live because I can just look up and look at the reference. I'm just going to paint. I'm just going to like scribble in almost like I'm Coloring with a crayon, just some color. I kind of lost part of my traceable there, too. It's frustrating when that happens. I'm assuming, how do you guys, leave in the comments or if you want in the chat, how do you guys transfer your images to um, your canvas? Or do you just draw them freehand? A lot. There's a lot of artists that draw them freehand. Oh, I have a cat here. Freckles is here. <laughs> Yeah, she's in the cat house. We did not have to pre-warm it unless I you did. did. Oh, you I, did. <laughs> she was bugging me and trying to dig into my sweater, like climb into it. <laughs> so I really warmed it up. I was hoping she'd go back in there after you showed up. She did. Oh, Tinker says projector. Oh, yeah. Somebody posted an app in the Facebook group. It's so like an old school projector. Like I'm. That's what I picture. Fifty eight. So I don't know if they even. Did you have projectors like a, in school, M, when you were in there? Um. Yeah, I had. I think the last year I had like the projector with the clear plastic sheet or whatever was probably fifth grade, and then by the time I got to middle school, all of them had smart boards. Oh yeah. So. I'm gonna paint that black. Is the volume up on my computer? It is. Can you slightly hear me talking? When yeah. you, um, I'll turn it down. It's okay. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, I can slightly hear our voices. <laughs> um, Tammy says either Seral, Seral, S-E-R-A-L. Yeah, paper. Uh, okay, or chalk. I think most artists on YouTube say Seral. Seral. But I actually don't know. Is that just like transfer paper? Yeah, but I think it's better. Oh, it okay. comes in colors. Hmm. I've never bought it because I just, I just, you know, do the pastel. I should probably buy some and try it. I think hmm. Ginger was using, <clears throat> excuse me, Ginger Cook was using that back in the day when I was watching her. Um, Tinker says she uh, hooks her phone up to a projector. Um, excuse me. It's like the size of her two hands. Um, so what on my what's on my phone screen will project onto a wall or canvas. Hmm. Neat. Mm -hmm. So I just assume it's like one of those itty bitty cute projectors, not like um, the overhead projector. <laughs> like a like some people do the projector in the basement now for the big big TV kind of thing, you know? Oh, that kind of projector. Yeah. Thank you. That was a good visual for your mom. Yeah, I was. I could feel that you weren't. You were. You weren't thinking well, of the right projector. <laughs> I'm also trying to paint. Yeah. Um, the person who posted the app in the, and is it Annie Tro Art? For instance, you think I'd know the title? I set it up. 
Facebook group, mm -hmm. um, and it only went up to so big. So I never really checked it out because I thought, well, I go in phases. Like, I'm going to be doing little ones for a little bit because I did so many big ones for the art show. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go back to sort of a little bit of both. <clears throat> but I'm like, oh, I need it to go, you know. I'll, I'll do a traceable for a 30 by 40. So what I'm thinking I might do here is just kind of put some browns in, kind of underpaint a little bit. I think I might just scribble. I mean, the app was cool. It's not like the app isn't cool. I just, like, wow, I do some big ones. I rarely grid because it take. I feel like the traceable is quicker than, you know, gritting the photo and then gritting my canvas. The math and the scale isn't too bad because I usually can just do, like, you know, one inch <clears throat> or a half inch on the photos, an inch on the canvas or just depends on what size and all that kind of stuff but I feel like it takes longer but I used to grit gosh in high school we gritted everything I have a little video where I did on gritting if that interests anybody it'd be in the art tips playlist <laughs> didn't really plan on that little commercial <laughs> oh yeah do we have commercials today no okay <clears throat> and I have a rough voice excuse me guys Oh, that's better. I can feel it. I think I'm kind of like the brown underpainting. And I also thought I would use the Cad Red. Oh, did I show the Cad Red? Yeah, I did. Because um, I've been using magenta a lot, so I thought we'd mix it up a little bit. And it's okay if it goes on kind of thin and shows my greenish background. So I like drawing with a pencil almost. Yeah, it is like the size of a pencil. Yeah. I could use a bigger brush, but I almost like that it's fading out on me. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of wet and thin. <clears throat> Goodness, I wonder if it's because I'm looking down. Where else do we want a little brown? That could be all our shadows, really. I feel like I'm beating up on the cardinal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then I, I did the eye because I, I was losing it. So I painted the eye with just a little bit of, I made an orange. Am I on camera? So I made an orange there and a little bit of white so it covers. And I painted it with a little bit of orange, uh, light orange. And then let that dry. And then I came back with some straight up orange. Let that dry. And then a little brown. And of course the black outline, which I'll adjust. But I kind of like that I won't lose the eye. And then I paint a little white highlight on the beak, just a little kind of indicators, because it didn't transfer very well. It must have been too, too quick with, um, I don't know, too, I wasn't paying attention to my traceable, scribbling on the back of it or something. I'm gonna make a red brown. That brown was kind of scaring me. That's another way, too, is just kind of use a paper towel or your finger to... So it's going to look kind of sloppy and quick here, but it's going to help me. I'm thinking it's going to help me down the road and paint faster. I have a few little details. I kind of like that red-brown better than the brown-brown. My goodness, they, I know. Can't, they can't hear it, but the wind. It's so loud. And it's going to be worse tomorrow, I think. Really? Yeah, it's going to be windier. I mean, it's only like 50 mile an hour wind. I don't know if it's that only. <laughs> today or tomorrow. I mean, it's not like we haven't had worse wind. It just seems so angry. <laughs> yeah, it sounds angry. Yeah. It felt angry when I left my apartment. Oh, I bet. Yeah, um, let's see here. So um, Tammy's asking Tinker to share the projector link. And, um, okay, never mind. I was going to say, I was, like, most of the time, it doesn't even, usually it'll, like, ask me to approve a, um, I think when we were talking about, like, the 
like how to know if it's a boy chicken or a girl chicken however many lives ago <laughs> there were quite a few um like comments I had to approve because it would have the word sex in it so I had to oh. approve them but it won't even like ask me to approve for like links no it didn't work tinker it like I wish it, it won't even it usually gives me the option to like approve things but it doesn't even do we have a glitch no, it, and you're not allowed to put links in the oh. chat, typically. I don't know if there's, like, a setting. I don't know if we would want to look that setting, because then, you know, the weird random messages that I delete out of here every once in a while. There are settings, and I don't remember when we set up the live. I don't, it's too long ago. We, I only built, only done it once in my life. I don't remember, you know. That's not, like, a big excuse when I said that. Like, I was going to be all hurt <laughs> feelings or something. I don't know why I said that. Um, I wonder... Yeah, if you, it's, I think or is in the friend group, right? The Facebook group. Um, I know, it's getting hard to remember who's in what. I know. Oh, because we just have so many. I think there's like we 130. We don't have that many. <laughs> there's like 130 people in there. Yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, five and I'm I'm done. Yeah, I'll do that, Tinker. I'll put it in the messages if you um, send it to the Facebook page. I'll put it in, oh, as a message. Yeah, then I, I can... I'll break into her Facebook, and then I can send it out. My privacy is being... <laughs> I don't know what I want to say. I'm, my privacy is being violated. violated. <laughs> it's like opening your... It's like... I, I wonder if eventually, like, opening someone else's email will be a felony, just like you can't oh, open someone's mail. I never thought of that. Because totally I did be. get a... Like, when I filled out my... When I did my taxes, I got a question, like, would you like us to only... Like, would you like us, it asked if I would want them to contact me via mail. Otherwise, they will contact me via email huh. about my taxes. So, I thought that was pretty funny that they, uh... That is. I wonder if it'll trade over. I think I'm pretty much done with the brown and the black. Boy, that looks like a hot mess. <laughs> yeah, he looks a little splotchy. But I don't think that's a bad thing. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put some grays in around the face, and then we can put some blacks in. So a lot of times, I'll make it harder for me to paint, um, but it gives me more options down the road. So I'm just gonna paint what's pretty much black, gray, and then I can come back and leave some gray showing through. And I sometimes I'm like, oh. I'm just gonna make it all black. Do you know what I mean? Sometimes it is more work. But I like to set myself up with layers. Oh, this is a number one round Simply Simmons. So I'm worried about getting this done. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's showing Emily. Emily's thinking. I'm just um, That's okay, opening up your Facebook. Yeah, you don't have to answer. Are you sweating? Is that is that what's showing? Well, I was a little nervous about getting this oh. done in time. But I also don't want to rush it. Because I will take this to one of the galleries and, mm -hmm. and sell it. Yeah, I'm going to go to Ginger's Hang-Up, which is the other gallery I sell in, in Omaha on Thursday. I'm just chatting. You don't have to listen to him. Mm-hmm. Um, and actually, for them, take new work, because I pretty much had everything at the downtown gallery, which is the Artist Cooperative Gallery in Omaha, Nebraska, because um, I had a show, and it was like, I mean, to, I took a whole bunch of art the day before, took, a lot, took art the day of, and then I ended up coming back home and taking more art to fill the space. It's a big gallery. And I'm not, I mean, that's cool, because I ended up selling quite a bit. I'm grateful to have all that space. I think I might let that dry before I. If, it, I, if you don't, if you want to do wet on wet, but see, I'm kind of lifting up too. So I've got my paint pretty thin. I think I'm gonna let it dry. But I already feel better now. I think if I paint the nose, and I'm gonna feel a whole lot better. Or the beak, I just called it a nose. Sometimes I'll paint the eyes, the feet, the nose, because that's what is most important to me personally. Um, and I just feel better. Get those set. 
you should kind of work your painting all as one. But acrylic, it dries on you, and I, I'll, I'll work a section and come back to it. And I just feel better. I have said that like five times. I feel better <laughs> when the face looks pretty good. That might not be a helpful thing for you. It might. Let's grab some straight up cad red there. It's covering pretty well. I think mm -hmm. the cad red covers better than the quinacridone if you're looking for coverage. Which I think is kind of funny. I don't know. Because there's more yellow in it, so just assume that it's more of a Oops, translucent good. color. Whereas it, there's more purple in quinacridone. <clears throat> I think quinacridone is just a straight up violet that they can't, that you can't mix. I agree. Or I magenta, magenta. Yeah. That's a better yeah. word. We've, yeah, we've talked about the, we are both on the same page of thinking that that's like the true um, what, primary yeah. or whatever. Ne neither of these have the numbers on them. Like some of them, yeah, I can't tell. So sometimes I get a tube that has the numbers on them and I could kind of, so I kind of know what the colors are, you could, I have never done it, but you could probably look them up. I mean, that's gotta be white. PW6 has to be white. Let's look. And I'm worried about getting this done on time and I'm not, I'm, I'm not concentrating. Yeah, PW6. I like that, Golden does that. So I don't know if that means that, I have a feeling these are newer with the numbers on them. Somebody might know out there. We could, I could try contacting Liquitex. But I'm betting there's a little bit of white in the cat red medium. Mm -hmm. That's where I was going with that. There totally could be. Yeah. Just a little. I know there's a little bit of white and probably a little bit of yellow in the cat red light hue. But, like, I can't look up the numbers. I wonder if I could on their website. I should check that out sometime. Oops. I got something I don't like. I think I picked up a little brown. Let's blend it out. Okay, so then I need to decide. I think I'm going to put orange on the highlight on his beak. For now, at least. It actually looks a little pinky in my reference photo. The highlight is more important than the color. The value is usually more important than the color. Unless you're going for um, like photographic, tight realism type stuff. Then you got to get it all right. No pressure. <laughs> so what's nice about having a little bit of brown under this beak, it should shift value when I paint the red over it. I'll lift it up and show you here in a second. I like their splotchy phases. Can you see that? So that's red over my greenish beige background and that's red over some brown I painted. Cute. So we could do a grisaille where you paint it all gray. I've got a, uh, a cow video where I did that and then I glazed over color. Mm -hmm. You could totally do that. Just focus on your values and then focus on the color. And you could do it in the brown. You don't have to do it in black and white. A grisaille, I think, means, I don't know. I think it's French, and I think it means black and white. But I really don't know for sure. So um, if you want to see the mini projector that Tinker uses, she posted it in the friends group. Oh, okay. So we can check it out after the live. Yay. Thank you, Tinker. Mm -hmm. That might even be quicker than the... Traceable and the. It'll make all. It'll make your. Um, and no dust. Yeah, no dust. It'll make your. <laughs> all however many traceables you have obsolete. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well. If everyone has a mini projector. I mean that's okay because. I mean I like doing them, but then it's one less thing I have to do. True. True. You know it's okay. However, whatever works best for whoever. And if that becomes the trend. We we'll, just become the group of everyone has a mini projector. Yeah. <laughs> we'll adjust. I mean, there's an up and a down to everything. I'll get a projector. I'll get a projector. Yeah. I've got cat hair on my face. I'm trying to get it off. 
Okay, I've got uh, Unbleached Titanium. Oh, yeah, I was wondering. That's so close in value. I'm going to grab a little orange. Because it's going to get muted. And I'm just going to paint this in so I don't lose it. Actually, the orange might be a half, one of those Bob Ross moments. those little spots of white help me. I'm going to paint over one. You could do it the other way. You can paint the orange first and then just come back with the lighter. You can do it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. I just kind of like the white underneath sometimes. Helps the yellow pop more. Yeah. Yeah, under yellows and oranges you need the white if you want it to be stronger. Okay, that's a a claw, but it actually mm -hmm. looks the same value in my reference photo, so I'm going to hmm. go ahead and... I kind of like that. Mm -hmm. It's a little too sunny right now, but maybe we'll toss, so I don't forget, we'll toss a little orange over in here so we don't have feet that are completely different from each other. Mm -hmm. Cheat the system a little bit. Oh, yeah, you can. That's what's fun about art is you can uh, make it better than a photo. I'm kind of liking the orange. I'm going to put that in a couple places. I'm slowing down. I don't want to slow down. <laughs> oh, I know what I want to do, too. Some. This is a number 12 flat Royal and Lang Nickel. Let's grab white. I'm just going to grab orange. Let's make sure we have a little highlight going. So I'm just kind of using the corner of my brush because it turned out to be kind of big. Bigger than I was comfortable with. I even might want a little, uh, another layer of white. I'm in underpainting mode with this one, Emily. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you I watched fin Finch on Apple TV? No. Tom Hanks. What's that one about? It's kind of like, I, I've never really seen Wall-E all the way through, but it's kind of, <laughs> it's post-apocalyptic. Okay. He's a really smart guy in a basement of some place. I won't tell too many details. Mm-hmm. Um, has a dog friend, hmm. makes robot friends. So very I Am Legend in a way. Is it? I've never seen that one. Oh, I Am Legend is Will Smith has a dog friend. He's like oh, the last it? of like some apocalypse. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, I liked it. I don't know. I I think sometimes when your expectations like, oh, Tom Hanks, this is going to be great. Mm -hmm. I really liked it, but I'm wondering if I was like too excited for it. Oh, because Tom Hanks. Yeah. Oh, he's such a good actor. And maybe it's because it reminded me of Wally, and it reminded me of something else. Oh, a little bit of Martian. Was that a Matt Damon? Oh, I think so. On Mars. Mm -hmm. A little, you know, kind of, mm -hmm. I think that describes it pretty well. I'm actually going to put a little white down here, even though it's not a highlight highlight. I think it's going to dry darker. Plus, if I smear it with my finger a little bit. It's, um, you don't say anything, because then I might ruin it. But, like, if um, either the, I guess more, more it would be more on, point if it was the dog, but if the dog doesn't make it, then it's very I am legend. <laughs> or if the robot doesn't make it, I guess it could be like I am legend adjacent. But yeah, I'm looking through pictures of the of it right now. Um, there were some neat details I liked. Mm-hmm. I'm a detail. I didn't really, I, I can't speak details, but I like to paint them and watch them. Mm -hmm. I think that's funny. I'm going to lighten this back up again. Yeah, well, it looks really pretty. So, I mean, well, they, I would assume if you're spending money for Tom Hanks, you got to make a pretty movie. Oh, yeah, it was really interesting. It didn't look cheap. Mm hmm Like, wow, I don't know how they... I don't want to talk too much about it and ruin it. Yeah. I don't know how yeah, they yeah. did it. Um, but we are finally on to the newest season of Ozarks as well. Oh, and Lynn, I... Yeah, that's so dark. It's like, you know... 
And it's somehow it's like, will they ever get out? You know, I know. is, is the, what they hang you with the whole nine yards. Mm-hmm. And yet it's not bothering me. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like, come on, people, move on, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, they, but I completely forgot about the, they always do the little like, oh in the beginning and, and then the pictures the, the four symbols. pictures and then we're always like okay okay that's a that's a this that's a that and then there's this <laughs> yeah they get you right that's smart though yeah they make you we I, should we should take lessons from <laughs> <laughs> how to how to really make our youtube intriguing and yeah we'll have to well the the i think the thing that's difficult is the so technically i think we're still in the past which i forgot you know because they open the show with, I believe, something in the present, and then the rest of it so far is in the past. Yeah, I'm not totally, yeah, I think you're, I'm sure you're right. Mm-hmm. I'm just trying to paint. So I don't know how we achieve that on <laughs> your YouTube channel. We oh. make something super dramatic. Oh, you yeah, You know, no. you drop the paintbrush on the, the final painting, and it stains the whole painting, but then, oops, we cut back to the very beginning of the... I guess that's not exactly what I meant. That's what I... <laughs> I meant more like we have symbols. What's How's it going to pertain oh. to today's life? <laughs> I'm oh. thinking something super dramatic happens in the beginning, but then oh, you got to watch to find out. I like the way your brain brain works. That's pretty cool. Well, because that's how they do it. I mean, well, not yeah. that's not how they always do it, but... No, I was just thinking, you know... You know, two symbols. How's that gonna? Mm-hmm. What's that gonna mean for today's painting? It's always a paintbrush and like your needed eraser. It just never changes. <laughs> well, no. So we could have a cardinal. Yeah. A we have cardinal. a bird beak. What kind of bird is it? <laughs> I think I'm getting teased here, people. Help me out. <laughs> Help me. Be no. I don't want. I don't want anybody to take sides. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, they would take my side in a heartbeat. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we're smack talking today. Must be the cranky weather. Yeah. It was, it literally almost blew my, like, car door shut on me when I was getting in. I was like, ah! It was, it's so windy. Oh, yeah, I was in the middle of also checking. I was going to check the um, weather for tomorrow. Because you said it was going to be worse than, or the windier than it is today. Okay, so I'm just putting some values in that foot, and it's going to smooth out on video, so I can totally refine that, but it's starting to get there. Okay, I'm a little... I'm going to put a little gray in here so I don't forget when I start painting other things. Oop, that's kind of dry. Nothing wrong with dry brushing. I just want it to flow because I just want kind of a flat color for now. I don't think it's going to tell me 10 day. Yeah, it doesn't tell you like how. It says windy, but it doesn't tell me how. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I probably, because I tend to watch the local yeah. news when I eat dinner. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it was probably on there. Mm-hmm. Oh, Bonita says, Annie, I see that you now have 3,000 plus subscribers. Awesome. Yay, thank you. Thank yeah. you for celebrating. Did we, did we ever say anything? No. I don't know if we I... ever said anything. <laughs> I'm waiting for 10,000 so we can have like a merch sh- shelf. And then I'm like, yeah. well, but is it that big of a deal? Because, you know, you got to get people to buy the merch yeah. <laughs> to do more sales. Would be, it's fun, though. It like, is we fun. We could walk around town sporting all your merch. <laughs> we could be our best supporters. Yeah. It'll be, we'll have like an Annie Bucket hat, we'll have a T-shirt, we'll get some socks. An Annie Bucket hat. I'm not wearing that. <laughs> Maybe a baseball hat. Yeah, you are at 3.39. Um, so you're almost at 3,400. So I'm going to have, I, I already have a couple of traceables up on the website, and I've got more coming because I'm painting little ones. And then um, since I made some money, I'm spending on the show especially, I made more money than I was planning on. So I'm spending on advertising. Um, and so that should help us grow a little faster. Mm-hmm. I think it is because I, I just checked the count this morning and we're back up in the. It was either, I think I can't remember the number. I think it was mm-hmm. three hundred and sixty-four in the last twenty-eight days. Mm-hmm. So, and now of course, like with um, people who send money through PayPal and Venmo, I I just bought paint, so that helps so much. I went through paint. We got canvases. I got canvases. I went through stuff for that show. And it, yeah. Uh, it's so nice. to. I feel supported. Mm-hmm. That's going to sound funny, but I don't know that I've ever felt supported in a business venture. Well, you've, 
I mean, since I'm I... digging in and just, do, you know, like with my graphic design business, yeah. forever, it's like just me. Well, I mean, since I can remember, you've never worked in an office because you had your graphic design business. So it's just. Yeah, you were little. It's and... just you chugging along. And, you know, like if. I'm you... going to cry. I feel supportive, you guys. <laughs> oh, don't cry. No. No. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Switch switch subject to something. <laughs> no, I think it's awesome. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I feel blessed. I feel I can't find the words. Mm -hmm. It's like thank you. But yeah. yeah, go ahead, honey. No, but it is. It's um. It's awesome. Yeah, it's like uh, you you now you, some, interesting office setting where you actually have like coworkers. Yeah, I mean you always have people you work for. I don't care. Yeah. How self employed you are. Yeah. You know? Yeah. People but like, say, oh, sorry, I wanna, oh, I, no. I'm gonna say this a little bit. Like, mm -hmm. people would say to me, oh, must be nice to do what you want. You don't have a boss. I'm like, I have 20 bosses <laughs> and they're when you're self employed and they all are different. Yeah. You know? Yeah, but that's fine. I mean, I liked it. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I was just gonna say, like, I mean, because if you, I remember when you got like your fir first art licensing deal and then like the first one that we could I ever cried. visit. Well, yeah, but like, it's just, you in the like it's you in the office so it's just like then you're just telling like me or you know family or whatever but it's yeah. it's so much more fun when you have like like other people to also celebrate it with you it know? is it is much more fun oh chase popped in with 9.99 and his little goat emoji Talk about feeling supported thank you chase <laughs> thank you thank you i bet i bet he's done cooking his steak oh my god he was cooking yeah yeah, that's why he called to ask if the dishwasher was clean or something. And I, I knew he called, but I wasn't really listening. Yeah, and then I, when I called him back, I was like, "What are you making?" He's making the steak. We well, got I heard yesterday. you say you were trying to smell it or something. No, like I won't be there when he like cooks it, and it's, oh, you, you won't get all be the able smells, to smell you know? it. See, I don't really listen. <laughs> that makes so much more sense. Chase wants Annie Christmas socks, is what he says. <laughs> you know, that might not be a bad idea. <laughs> Um, I bought, well, I don't want to say, but I bought Chris, fun socks as a Christmas present this year. For, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. For family. Any Christmas socks? That's actually. That'd be hilarious. I mean, I would have said no, who wants those? But, you know, I think those are a thing. Well, I think, I mean, I may not want, I may not want socks with your face on them. but like, Well, no, I don't want my face it, on like, them. Like, if, um. I'm assuming it's like, you know, art hug socks or something. Yeah, but like a cute little t-shirt with your, yeah, art hug socks, that'd be cute. Or a cute little t-shirt for Christmas or winter time that has like your trees on it, like the ornament tree you do every, not every year, but you've done the last two. Well, and we'll only do if people want stuff. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to like, you know. I'll wear it. Well, okay. <laughs> your people. <laughs> They'll become my, um. I'm just playing with color here, guys. Go ahead. Like um, the t-shirts. All my all my t-shirts will just turn into your art <laughs> and stuff. The ones you sleep in. Yeah, the ones I sleep in, or the or ones I go to the gym in, in or lounging, or whatever. The, your grody ones, the ones that you paint in. <laughs> nah, that's not nice. That's so nice. I'm like, thank you for trying to be. I'm not letting you be nice to me. Yeah, thank why aren't you letting me be nice? I don't know. Chase Chase says um, Annie should make. Any tattoo template, if anyone wants ever a tattoo. I met a guy who wants to be a tattoo artist when I was working in the gallery downtown last Friday in March. He's a, he's going to uh, Metro here in Omaha. Oh, I didn't know they had a... Is he just going for art or do they have he's, a tattoo program? He's just doing art. Oh, okay. But, I mean, you know, he's like, I think I want to do this. I'm like, oh... Well, do it? Do it. Do it. And he's got a friend who's a tattoo artist. I'm like, oh, that's going to And you got an in. Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't get an in with whoever the friend works, it's still like, okay, you know what it's like, you know a little bit about it. Mm hmm You're on the way. He showed up to the opening. Oh. Oh, um, how which... was that? I didn't go with you. Oh, it was good. Good. It was good. There was quite a few people there. It, I think it. the weather was better. That helped. Yeah. <laughs> better than your day? Yeah, better than when I had the opening. Uh, that stinks. Oh, it just happens. You can't. Yeah. you got to plan it, and you just have to. It's indoors. People could still come. But yeah, with parking downtown, you gotta gonna walk. You gonna a walk, little bit. yeah. Anita says it lo it's looking really good. It's starting to come yeah. together. Yeah. It's looking a little less um splotchy. It's literally starting to come together. Like the paint splotches are starting to form into yeah, into things. Mm -hmm. I kind of bounce between the orange and the red. Um, it would be more efficient if I painted kind of like I was doing with the brown paint 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 as many things orange as you can think of mm -hmm. um, but when I talk I kind of just paint in a section 
My brain can only... I do much better, but my brain can only handle so much. Mm Mm-hmm. So I'm going to grab orange and try and just paint orange. And so I like the flat brush because I can get kind of a calligraphy angle on it. It's not a very good example because it's not very big. And get those points, and I can just fill in. And I can fill in right into that gray. It's not a big hairy deal. You might like a filbert better. There isn't a right brush. And I'm going to change my mind. You know, you watch a video a year from now, and I'm, I'll be doing something different. Because part of it's part of the fun is changing, too. I'm back on my soapbox. <laughs> what size brush are you using? I think it's a number 12 Royal Lang Nichols N-Line. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm kind of cold. My hands look a little purple today. <laughs> Do I have all the lights on? Yeah. Do you? yeah. It's just cloudy out and gloomy. Well, so I like the really nice weather, but when it's cold and windy like this, the studio stays um, cooler with mm-hmm. all the lights and the computers. And um, computers, because Emily brings her computer. I'm just going to throw a couple oranges up here. I might put a little orange over here. I'm pretty much following the reference photo so that if you guys do the same. And that orange on the brown really mutes. I could put, well, actually on the white it even is kind of muting. I wonder if my brush is dirty. My brush is probably dirty. Oh, yeah, I've got red and brown in my brush. Can't blame the background on that one. It was me. We're good. Ooh, I guess um, maybe we can we can not, like, if it's somebody, I think that whoever has the windmill or whatever that thing is is squeaking. I can hear it. It's going so fast it's squeaking. Anyway, um, Wait, what, what I want to know is, like, elsewhere, I guess probably, I guess, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're not in the U.S., but um, so Chase and I are looking for a house. Oh, you want, yes. And it is, it is insane here right now. And, I mean, and I feel like we live in, I mean, obviously still city, but smaller city in I mean, largest city in Nebraska, but small city by other people. Yeah, the house prices are better standards. than Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the market is just absolutely insane. And Chase and I looked at a house last week on Friday, and we put an offer in. Very, like, I mean, both of both of our parents were just like, oh, wow, that's the market now. Um, but... We knew that we didn't know. Two, like, they never had an open house. Two days of being able to go through the house and um, it had nine offers in two days wow. and we did not get it. <laughs> and you so, went, you went high. We went high. Yeah. It was, and and I mean, easy going. Yeah. We, we went, we, I, it, what was hard was like, so we, um, that was the first house we'd ever seen. And so it's kind of like, okay, this is literally the first house we have been in. Do Other we, than new. Well, yes, yeah, other than, like, when we were looking a year ago, maybe a building a house or something, but um, it is absolutely insane right now. Like, I don't know if it's just Omaha or if it's elsewhere, but I was, I, I, I guess um, our real estate agent it told us to expect more of the offers than that, but um it was still like nine offers in two days. Well, when you experience it, it's so different than when someone tells you. Yeah, she's like she's seen twenty offers on a house, and I was like, oh, oh my gosh. But nine offers in two days, no open house, just you know, contact agent or get in via real real estate agent. And you're in a tough price range. You're not in the. Well, you're I can't imagine two million dollar price. Range. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Well, honey. I can I just imagine. Told you're um, not rich. No. Well, shocker. <laughs> Um, oh, Tammy says it's everywhere right now. I think it is too, but I think it's worse other places because I think Omaha is somewhat, well, like compared to Chicago, Minneapolis. Yeah. Maybe St. Louis. I'm not familiar with St. Louis, but yeah. you know, bigger cities around us, Kansas City, maybe. Yeah. Oops, sorry if I just hit my microphone. Well, and she, you know, like um, here people are like waiving inspections. And so, like, I mean, 
we literally walked through the house for an hour, maybe an hour, and then it was like she, our, um, we were saying we were heading out, and our agent's like, okay, well, I have to go to like three more listings after this to show, and then for clients, and then I have a gap. So like, if you could possibly like, if you, I might be able to write up a contract if you want to put an offer in. I'm like, what happened to like? I remember when we bought this house, there was like weeks of discussion of like if we were gonna move. Um, and like, I mean, sure, that's what, 20 years ago? You were fi- 21. 20, 21 years ago. 21. But still. You're old, sweetie. I am old now. <laughs> well, and we bought it right after 9-11. So some of that discussion was, you know, can we even find a house? Or, mm-hmm. You know, but my my vote was, well, let's keep looking. We don't know what's going to happen and end up. It's not great, but it worked in our favor. I feel bad for the sellers, but every, all the house prices dropped. Mm-hmm. You know, so it helped us buy more house. But yeah, it's crazy. It's made it about me. It is crazy. I know. Well, and, and that's I, only and I want to help years. you more, but I think it's smart that it's just you and Chase. Yeah. You know. I mean, I don't actually want to go or anything, but I mean, I just want to try to relieve the stress and the Mm -hmm. craziness, but I can't. Mm. Tammy says that um, her daughter is getting married and they have been looking and they decided to rent for a while. Yeah, we have, we looked a year, we kind of poked around a year ago because we have been renting and then everyone just keeps like, would say, like, oh, the bubble's going to pop. I was saying it. You were saying it. Everyone was saying People the bubble's going to pop. People you on, know, the experts online were saying yeah. it. Yeah. News was saying and it. And I think it, I think it has, it's slightly calmed down because, like, when um, the pandemic first started and, you know, people are stuck in six, seven hundred square foot apartments that they didn't expect to be also working from. People really rushed into homes, True, too. True, there was some of that, too, yeah. Um, but... Uh, it was like we've been waiting for it to calm down and it hasn't. It hasn't. So now we're just I feel like we're like it's like we're walking against the wind that's outside right now. It's like fifty five fifty miles an hour wind. You are we're just standing against You're being sandblasted too. Yeah. But like anytime we get the little like email notification, Chase and I are both like <gasps> looking at the house in case because I mean we were, we saw a listing go up and then we went to the listing or to the house seven hours. Like the listing was maybe seven hours old and we're um, walking through and then another person's coming through and I'm like, dang, you work, people work fast here. And then by the end of the day, there were already three offers. I'm like, oh, but it's fun. <laughs> That was convincing, honey. It's I can so tell fun. how much fun you're having. I mean, the, the I mean, fun talk part about is a whole other level of adulting. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, it was easy to be in school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it stinks. It just stinks. You don't hardly have a chance. Or, and, or you're, you're throwing money. I mean, you can't throw money you don't have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, some people do. I guess. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm let that dry after I did that. Well, and I don't know if like I guess some. I was talking to somebody, and they say that some cities don't allow it, but we even have, like, the give me your house letter. Like, the please. love me letter. <laughs> please pick me. Yeah, I was talking to a Bunko friend. I met her on my walk yesterday. She lives in the neighborhood. And uh, she was saying they outlawed those in some states because it, you know, people will say, well, I don't like the looks of them. They can't have the house. True. You know, I'm mm-hmm. like, well, that's not cool. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Yeah, Tinker says the idea of house hunting is way more fun than it actually is. It's so stressful, yeah. Oh, it, is, it was before even all this crud. Mm-hmm. Well said, Tinker. Um, but what I think is um, oh, I don't like that color funny either. is, so, I, I've, like, we already have gotten, like, three listing pings today. And then, because um, our agent, she said that, yeah. like, Thursday, Friday are the biggest days. So... It's been, it was really slow, like literally, I think a house came in on Saturday, maybe, and then nothing Sunday, Monday, um, a few on Tuesday, yesterday, and I've already had three today, oh. um, or since like late last night, It is too. pretty much spring here, even though the weather's been odd. Yeah, but um, so, um, where was I going with that? 
I don't know, but my brush is too big. I'm going to switch to a small one. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, um, on yesterday or on Monday, I don't know, um, since there was nothing to, like, look at, Chase and I were looking at the, like, $2 million houses, and he's like, why would anybody ever do that to a house? He was he was like ripping into them and it was so funny. He's like that chan that chandelier or that light just looks so weird. He's like, what is on the walls? <laughs> I I mean, some people do like they're for lack of a better word, they'll be like house poor mm -hmm. and just buy the house and then later, you know. But I I kind of wanted to have a couch. And yeah, a that's washer, our goal. <laughs> and, a, and a washer dryer. To have a couch. Yeah, our goal is to have a couch. You know, you know maybe a new bed. Because our couch is apartment sized couch, so like, she's kind of itty. But, well, she could go, she, the couch is a she, mm -hmm. she can go in the basement. She could go in the you basement. You know, and then you get a new couch. I mean, you don't need new everything, but you kind of want to, like, just a few things. Mm -hmm. Well, and then since house hunting, I was looking at furniture hunting, because that just, you know, leads to a whole other realm. Well, and but, you need to know prices, too, though. Yeah, so, and what stinks is, um... I mean, it's nice that we have the Nebraska Furniture Mart, which is basically like a massive, geez, furniture, electronics store. They sell flooring. They sell... They're pretty local. I think they're in Kansas City. Yeah, there's Kansas City. But I think huge. there's one in a few in Iowa, maybe. But they're... They're huge, though. It's like furniture, home, everything mecca, basically. Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, I don't know. So red and brown here. Keep going. Huh? Like, if you mixed an Ikea with a Lowe's, but not. Because, like, Ikea's more affordable. I've never been in the Ikea. <laughs> um, we don't have them here because of Nebraska Furniture Mart. Yes. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's, oh. uh, it's Nebraska Furniture Mart. Like, I can get furniture at Nebraska Furniture Mart, or I could go to Pottery Barn, but Pottery Barn's way more expensive. And then, um, or like, Ethan Allen, and that's it. <laughs> it's like well, Nebraska Furniture Mart. Oh, there's, there's, um, I think Rod Cush still has his. No. Yeah, really? I, see, I hear him advertising something every once in a while. Maybe ha maybe he's gone now, but there's also something else. Okay. I think Ernie's in Soresco, Nebraska, which is kind of south of Lincoln. Oh. Well, yeah, I'm looking at, like, I can go to it in town. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, you're right. It's you're like, right. I was like, oh, I mean, it's I a furniture store. <laughs> some water for flow. Yeah. Well, your interior designer, you would know. Maybe you could get a friend to order for you. Um, well, that, that's still going to be freaking expensive. Yeah, I suppose. Well, More expensive. None of it's cheap, but yeah. Um, uh, Tinker says they went with the foreclosure fix um, and fixed it up for cheap. Um, oh, that then yeah. it would have been buying a move-in ready home. Yeah. Although, well, well like, where were... Um, that tail's looking better. Go ahead, honey. There's more people that I've noticed are doing, like, for sale by owner, but, like, I can't even find a photo of, like, inside of the house. I know, you have to go look at it. Mm -hmm. So I haven't been, we haven't been, I mean, this is literally week two, and well, I'm already complaining. Well, have seen one house. <laughs> yeah, we've seen, uh, we have physically, well, I mean, I've looked in the interior of many online, but, like, we have physically went to one house. So this is, <laughs> I'm laying a lot, it on very thick for only going in one house well, and putting an offer on one house. you guys. Well, it's like, dang. I mean, she prepared us. She was like, it's gonna, like, there are gonna be a lot of offers on a house. Yeah. And, it, and we're at least in a step above, like, price range where, like, I think... Um, oh, you're a little bit above starter home? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh good. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure if you were. Yeah. I mean, at least for, like, if you're thinking about what um, is, like, uh, I think a median of affordability or whatever for a home. You oh, know? I'm sure you know. I'm not up on it, you know. Because um, even though the pr pr housing prices have gone up literally, like, $60,000 in the last year... You know, people's pays don't usually go up to match immediately, no. you know? No. So we're my, my at least assets. in a... Yeah. We're, we're at least in, like, a a step above, but still a hard market, I think. Oh, very difficult market. Yeah. I mean, even as a seller, I don't know if it's that great, because you got to have some place... I mean, I suppose you could be building and then just wait. Mm, mm -hmm. But other than that, I mean, like, you can't yeah. necessarily find a house to switch to. Yeah, that's, that's a struggle with... A, friends of ours they're like oh my gosh our house we never thought it would be worth this much money and it is and but they can't find anywhere to go <laughs> you have to find somewhere to go yeah yeah I had um can you tell she's traumatized she needs a big art hug <laughs> <laughs> my baby's traumatized no. it'll it'll more will pop up this weekend but my chase man's traumatized yeah. Yeah, and I feel bad because he really, he was like, every, as we're, as nothing's come in, it's only been a, not even a week, but nothing's come in. He's like, 
I really liked that house. Like, oh yeah, Barney. that was a pretty that was a pretty darn good one right off the bat. And and yeah, price we're... wise, update wise, yeah, you know it's the you want, but not like too updated. So like it's all brand spanking new. It was like you know like affordable, I could tell the sort of affordable. Yeah, I could tell like some of the carpet was, if not original, like you know it was it fifteen was years old. Yeah, yeah it was so love. we could easily like you know live on it a couple years, destroy it if we had to. And then get carpet, new carpet we like or yeah. whatever. But yeah, the, the owners of that house had a couple, a big dog for sure, and I think a little dog too, just based on the photos. Oh, Tinker says that her sister lives in Nebraska, and she's always looking too. Huh. huh. <laughs> we both went, huh, huh. sound the same. Yeah. Like I'm... Omaha, Lincoln, or Western? I mean, uh, oh, sorry, you don't need to put yeah, that Yeah, you don't in. need <laughs> You don't need to, yeah. Yeah, Nebraska isn't um, Grand Island, York about the last bigger cities kind of in the middle i'm, I'm trying to pick, picture my driver and then it's just not a lot of people not a lot of oh omaha oh maybe she told me that and i forgot probably <laughs> yeah odds are odds are in odds that, are it's omaha odds Lincoln. are in that realm of well no like i was saying odds are in the realm of she said it before and you forgot oh i'm so sure i'm totally <laughs> sure she's told me and i forgot uh I really should keep notes, but then I won't, the notes will get so big I won't read them, you know. The thing is, is she can't even remember that I crochet over knit, so it's, I think we, I think we can give you the benefit Man, of the doubt. This is, this is mom under the big bus. <laughs> Let's just throw mom. Um, I'm sorry, I was reading, I read Actually, a point earlier. Emily knows I like that. I like yeah. tease. We tease. Um, oh, Tammy made a point that some houses will hit the market as soon as school's out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll be fighting all the, the people with the um, young kids to get into a, a neighborhood that has a school. That's a good point. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, because who wants to move kids in the, especially like the very end of the school year, if they have young kids, just wait till summer. I, I am out of touch, kiddo. No, I am too. Like well, yeah. I, yeah, you're the, you're young. But I, I like, every time I, if I leave here a little late, I'm like, okay, what time does elementary school get out am I gonna hit like or because like you know middle school elementary school they all get out at different times so I'm like okay which traffic am I gonna hit am I gonna hit middle school traffic am I gonna hit elementary school traffic yeah you forget I just keep kind of making muddy browns and reds as we're chatting here Mm -hmm. um value is more important than the color but the uh arm the wing yeah I'll let you talk about him no that's okay the wing is pretty brown on the reference but you can make it redder that's okay, honey. I was not itching to say anything. I just thought I would take a breath after the stress of looking for a house. <laughs> for at a single house is a the single thing. house. I'm making all of this about a single house. It I, was okay. such a cute house, though. It was. It was. It ticked a lot of the boxes. It's kind of like dating. It yeah. checked a lot of the boxes. Except you were very much right about there. It it backed up to like a creek or something. Um, when I looked on the map, though, I don't think it's gonna flood. It's a it's a five out of ten on FEMA. Oh, for flooding. So my my annoying comments that are uns- we aren't asking for occasionally help. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I just tend to have just roll right out. <laughs> Tinker said, "When's the last time you did a horse painting?" Dot dot dot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but t- I've got on my note horse on or my list horse on black. She says, "Just making <clears throat> you feel better about forgetting things." LOL. I clearly forgot too because I asked you twice. Oh, you can. I oh. think you asked twice a year apart, so you're. Really... And please ask again, mm-hmm. please. I mean, if if yeah, I won't. That does. I'm I'm famous for asking several times. I like it. I like the reminders. Um, I'm gonna do the uh, next. I'm gonna do trouble, which is a cow. 4.0. It won't have a traceable, but I've got, I just counted, I have like, and I can't remember the number, four or five cow traceables now. Uh, but I sold the wood panel that I quickly painted again <laughs> in the in, for the entryway of the downtown Omaha Gallery. I, I, I don't like calling it the Artist Cooperative Gallery because it's a long title. But downtown Omaha Gallery is just as long. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's going to be probably the next live is going to be what's on my easel, and that'll be the next painting because I got it got to get it done as long as I'm selling them you know making mm-hmm. a little money here we're gonna go with that I liked that warmy cow too I wonder if I let's see I'll go to anytro.com that'll be what's next and it'll probably be what's live because I don't I haven't I thought I'd get to it and I've only got gesso on the wood panel it's a plywood panel mm-hmm. I'm putzy when I talk I need to do you know talking. if you um did you photograph the panels like that I know you didn't the first I, one I, no the second one 
one. I forgot mm-hmm. to photograph. But there's oh, yeah, a, well, yeah, there's a right. video for the second one. Yeah. Oh, here it is. There's a, I photographed the, it's kind of a orangey. Yep, I'll throw them in the chat just so if people. I want to know what it looks like. Yeah. Because we talk about things they can't see yeah. mm-hmm. all the time. Yep. <laughs> or maybe picture, because I don't think anyone has your your video, like, discogra- discography or videography, whatever the, that would be called, your backlog of videos memorized like we do. I even, I, we don't. I don't. Excuse me. I know sometimes videos feel farther away than they actually are. I know. I'm just putting in kind of a peachy color just to help fill in his tummy. Mm Mm-hmm. I like the peachy color. And it can be messy because I've got like that gray. It's not coming off. I've got a ton of paint, but it's not, it's not in the end of my brush. You don't want to lose that foot. Mm-mm. I like painting with the big brush for the most part, but then I get like down here and I'm going, eh. And I look at my reference photo to see how the wing goes and what. This is actually black up in here. Tammy says he is looking amazing. It's starting to come together. Mm-hmm. Oops, and then I just colored outside the lines, people. So I'm going to finish filling that in. And then actually what would be quicker is just to take a clean brush. This is just a little quarter inch filbert. Don't know for sure because the paint's rubbed off. And then I can just kind of clean up that edge with a little bit of water. And even if I smear it where I don't necessarily want it to go, mm-hmm. it's not. Oh, I need to clean up. Whoop. I just noticed I had another problem. I probably did it when I was chatting. Let's go with some gray here. And clean, just clean it up that way. There's a couple ways you could. I tried to wash it off, but it wasn't working. Oh, and I just thought of a tip, so I'm gonna do it. Mm-hmm. So one thing that can be kind of fun is this is a black and white metal thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Your ums are funny to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Take a little red, like there's a little reflective ref, reflective light. Ooh. Can be kind of fun. Put it in there. Don't have to, but I like to. I tend to like to do that kind of thing. And if it's too red, come back. Oh yeah, I like that. If you don't like it so much, and come back and paint some out. Mm-hmm. Smear it with your finger. So it could be rust. Could be just a little reflective red light from the cardinal. Sometimes people don't see it when they buy the, the painting, but they kind of feel that kind of stuff. And it, it, it can also, okay, what, I'm going to say what I thought, which is kind of cheesy, but it can sell you as an artist. <laughs> like, oh, she knows what she's doing, or he knows what he's doing, which really isn't your goal. My goal is, like, I want to paint things that make me happy. And, yeah. And it saved me, especially in the beginning of the pandemic, when I had pandemic, I had more anxiety. But I didn't realize how much painting helped me. Art helped me. It doesn't have to be painting. So Tinker says, story time. My dad's grandpa had a cow when he was growing up. Grandpa couldn't figure out why the cow wasn't giving milk. One day he walked into the barn and a snake was on the teat drinking it. Oh, that had to hurt. And also why would the, I can't imagine a snake having interest in that. I don't know anything about snakes. Same. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a good story. The poor cow. Yeah, that poor, yeah, that poor cow. And he's just been waiting for how long for someone to figure out what's happening? Or she, sn- not he. Yeah, get, but, rid, get rid of the snake, please. I would think, I mean, I go. Oh, I want to shudder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thinking about it, yeah. Owie, <laughs> owie, 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 owie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if children's teeth are are potentially a problem, I would think the snakes are poten- maybe worse. Maybe. They, I mean, they have fangs. I don't know what else they have. That's a good story. Thank you. 
The things you don't know that happens unless you are on a farm and work it. <laughs> Grandpa killed the snake and it solved the problem. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kind of putting little feather marks in here. You know what I need to do is define... I need to define that. I need to work on that. And I think we need a little... I'm going to grab a little black and make that shadow stronger. So sometimes if you take a big brush and you talk yourself through it, you'll get a little artier look because you can't control it. Mm -hmm. And that can look nice or it can look bad and you just wait till it dries and paint some more. Oh goodness, this is taking me a little while. I got like 19 minutes. Oh my god, yeah, time's flown by. Yeah, yeah you well, literally we, have... Well, we, we shared all our home buying, we, we, like I'm buying a house. Home buying stress. Well, and then you think about the stress of, like, if you want to get married and buy a house. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's like, I mean, some people, of course, can do it. Not, a lot of people can't. It's expensive. And then you got a parent, I'm, this, this isn't me, saying you need to get married. You know, or you need to do this, or you need to do that. And you're like, well, just, that's not how life is right now. Yeah, we are outgrowing apartments, so I want... Oh, you've outgrown it a long time I ago. want that house. <laughs> oh, that's more orange than I want. I'm going to grab some red. So I switched to the number one round. Well, to me, shelter is, is important. You can always get a marriage license. Yeah, we could. You know, I mean, you might not want to, but you could. Mm-hmm. If you're just going to go straight up practical, no rant, romance whatsoever. <laughs> just run down on a Tuesday in my jeans. Yeah. To, a court, to the courthouse. Yeah. You can. Well, it gives you, legally, it gives you things like health insurance or, mm -hmm. you know. It's not romantic. Did I just kill the mood there with that? <laughs> no, no. I feel like I did. No. Yeah, that's the thing is, since we've been dating for so long, there's so many people that, I mean, not that many people, we're not that, you know, that popular, but like, if you think about like, for nine years, I need some water. Go we've ahead. got a lot of people that have like, known us that nine years, or like, you know, have made comments through the, through the years of like, you know, I can't wait till oh, I see you get married or whatever. So we have, like, plenty of people to invite. So that's going to be... Expensive. A whole... Uh, yeah, so I'm like, let's get the house first. Especially before we're in this apartment any longer, because we've already been in it for four years. Well... Or we'll resign for a fourth year. You know, there's cheap reception at my house, or there's <laughs> yeah. cheap reception at your house. I'm tempted to paint this red, even though it's gray on the reference photo right here. True. Get the house, make it a wedding venue. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just need a decent backyard. That, that house takes a lot of boxes that yeah. you didn't get. That's not funny, is it? No, it's fine. No, it's not funny. No, because it was a 5 out of 10 on the flood scale. That would have stunk. Especially, like, not that long ago, we well, had that one little, year. Just add a little flood insurance to your... Yeah. I don't think it would, it would well, but... I'm glad, well, I'm glad I said something, because I'm like, oh, you know, that's like a reservoir type. Mm-hmm. I wonder how that, I wonder how much that filled, because we had that, all of that, oh, that rain. rain. And then... Well, and the sump pump had gone out on that house, which also made me think of the flood. Okay, and I think that flood was in 2018. Yeah, that's what actually made me make the comment. I didn't even put the two together that, I mean, we had... I've been trying not to bother you. You've got so much to think about. We had flood, flood. Like, uh, was that, but we also had another flood that was, you couldn't get to Iowa. Or was that the flood? Oh, that was, uh, um... Was that 2016? That flood? Because I know Chase wasn't away at school. I'm trying to think. So it was right after, it was like two or three months after I joined the Nebraska City Gallery. So it was either... The end of 2019, beginning of 2020. Oh. I'm not sure. Do I have the years right, though, honey? I don't know. Well, um, but there wasn't... But don't you remember when, like, the water was so high? I think that that was oh, maybe even right. before. And, but we were, we were not near the... Actually, I think that was before Chase went to college in Iowa. Missouri River, one where it was creeping in on Omaha. I actually went to Council Bluffs more. Yeah, because I remember when I would drive to, to, to Iowa or whatever um, to see Chase, it would... Um, you could see the marks on the trees. 
So mm-hmm. I think that was like I was in high. We were in high school. Yeah. I, well, I was in high school. You were in high well, school. I've done that a couple times. And then yeah, and then it flooded again, just like 2018. So I bet that's why the sump pump failed because that was in the disclosure or whatever of the house. Mm-hmm. So. So maybe it's good. Maybe you didn't good get thing because. Maybe it's good you didn't get it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's why I asked about flooding. I didn't probably tell you why. But yeah, I didn't even think. I mean, I. Well, as a combination of the reservoir and then the. Yeah, I didn't think about that not that, that long ago when we flooded. There's too much to think about. That's where it's kind of good to, like, at least show. People will think of things. Mm-hmm. I mean, you don't necessarily want them, you know, helping you every step of the way because you mm-hmm. get to me. Too many people making decisions and nobody, you know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, sometimes people come up with stuff you don't think of. I'm not trying to, like, sell you on why you should clue me in on what's going on in your life. <laughs> it sounds like See, that. this is why you need me. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that, you know, I like asking people sometimes. I don't want to ask 50 opinions, but. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I need to speed up here and. He's looking cute. I love how vibrant your paintings have been getting. You know? Yeah, I've been trying to push the values more. And then and the vibrancy and the the, the hue, the chroma. Some people say chroma. Mm-hmm. The color. I'll try to use some of those art terms. And I'm not getting the color or the value I want. And I just kind of... There. My puddle wasn't dark enough. I'm just scribbling. Yeah, you are. I kind of like it. Okay. And since it's wet, it's it just kind of like slowly adds depth, which mm-hmm. is nice. I like. I like, I like. I'm, I have this little brush I'm going to work on his face. So one nice little, let's do this, but I, one nice little tip is like this cardinal has little white dots around his eyes, and a lot of birds do. So let's put some black in. Hopefully my nose isn't in frame. <laughs> I'm just dabbing, thinking little feathers, feather direction, brushstroke direction. I, I almost think about intuitively anymore. When I first started painting mm-hmm. with acrylic, I didn't. I had to come back sometimes with another layer. And I don't mind if some of that gray shows through. We'll just see how it ends up looking here. Boop. I don't know if I mind that little mistake. Went a little further into the beak than I wanted. Oh. Boy, you can tell. I mean, it's dry in the house. My paint is like... Oh, here. My paint's screaming for a little... Drink. A little, a little spray spray. A little drink. <laughs> Should listen to that comment. I'm like, oh, spray my paint. I'm not sure if I wanted it that dark. I can come back with gray if I lose. I think that gives it a little... I've got a little puddle of gray there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I do have a little puddle of gray I can pull from. Sometimes I'll overthink it. Okay, so when that dries, I want to come back and put in... Okay, I, a lot of times... Oh, here's something else I'll do. A lot of times they look cranky pants. You know, they, it's more of a straight line. Mm-hmm. Here, maybe something that's a little bigger to point with. It's like a straight line, literally. And I'm already starting to think a little rounder because I want it to be happy. I want I want everything to be happy. I like happy things. I like happy art. And yeah, he does look a little grump in so that photo. I'll kinda maybe not talk about it, but make it a little rounder. Is he still looking grumpy? I need to I'm right on top of him. Um I, mean, I have to wait <laughs> for yeah, him to I might catch need up. to uh I'm bringing up his eye a little bit. That doesn't actually uh, anatomically correct. The rounding out. Oh, yeah, the rounding out makes him less grump. Yep, I'll do that with cats, too, sometimes. 
See, I like this where I'm just putzing and mm-hmm. I'm not doing anything. And I bet it, I, I just picture you guys falling asleep because you can't see the change or anything. <laughs> That's I like that. I like the little putsy stuff. I like painting the backgrounds. It's really calming. I'm excited to see how you did the sky and the flower. The flowers you showed in the big, the very beginning, the little guy. Oh yeah, and I used I used almost straight up bright aqua green. Mm-hmm. But I love the swirl and the that the oh, one that has a post-it on it. That was an afterthought because I didn't like the sky. Oh well, I love it. So I want to. I can't wait to see how you did that. Yeah. And it's like it was probably just fine. Just because I didn't like it didn't mean it wasn't totally fine the first round. I'm just kind of that was a little weird. So I'm just it's it dried, but then I added a little water and I just kind of blended that out. Okay, what do we need to do to make this guy look more finished? We need to... I'm going to add a little... My red-brown puddle. It doesn't do this in the photo, but... I'm going to add a little color here. Oh, I know what I want to do, and I'm not. I just want that to say a little bit side of cardinal tail. So one thing I like to do, I have pretty good structure. Here, screenshot time maybe? Yeah. And it needs a highlight in the eye. I'm trying to see the top of my phone and get it closer. Oh, actually I could get closer. It doesn't have to all fit. Mm-hmm. I could do this for a screenshot. Am I having deja vu? Or did you already paint this cardinal? I already paint and sold one. Okay. <laughs> and it had a greener background, and I was surprised it sold because it looked a little, more, a little more Christmassy. Okay. I was, all of a sudden, I was like, I I felt like we did this, and then, or like I've seen it finished for some reason. Yeah, it looks good. And I painted one, and I thought, well, I'll paint, I'll, I won't do a video, and I'll just paint it live. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So, yeah, I painted and, and sold it. But then I was looking around, and it's not here. So then I was like... Oh no. <laughs> and then I looked through your videos and there's no video of it recently. So I thought, I just thought I saw into the future from it, but nope. <laughs> so one thing I've been doing lately is just laying down some paint and smearing it out. So I kind of look for places where that could happen. I kind of want one more, but he's kind of mm -hmm. stiffer. Actually, we could do one. Yeah, that's cute. Let's grab some orange. So I'm just going to put some orange down. I've been liking that look. Mm -hmm. You guys can let me know if you like it or don't, and I won't be offended. Unless you say it like, wow, that's the stupidest thing I've yeah. ever seen. That looks disgusting. I'm going to get a little upset, but I won't, you know. It's really not your problem. <laughs> <laughs> and see, I overdid it now, so now it's bugging me. I overswiped it. There, leave it alone. And then if you don't like this one, it's a little heavy. It's still, we can wake it up with some water. Mm-hmm. That looks smart. Yeah. You got a little time even when yeah. it surface dries. Yeah. That's what's nice about a, a stiffer, sturdier brush. I have a harder time doing that. Like, I like these brushes, and I like how they get really nice and tight. But I have a harder time scrubbing because they, they just, they're just softer. It doesn't make them bad. They mm -hmm. just, they're just, I don't know if you can see that. They're just, I don't want to lay this one down because, whoop, here I could do it here. It just doesn't have the bend, same bend. Sometimes you like things and sometimes you don't. Yeah, I like this smear. Mm -hmm. All right, and in case people are wanting to leave, let's put a highlight in the eyeball. Because he's, he's sort of done, depending on how um, much detail you want. And I haven't really worked on the feet too much. His feet look good, though. But if you just put a little... Actually, let's slow slow my roll. <laughs> let's do a little light gray. And do... Okay, hopefully you can see that. And let's do a bigger highlight. And then we'll let it dry. And then we'll do a white that's smaller. Mm -hmm. Kind of helps sell it. If you could see me, I'm wagging, like, my tongue sticking out. <laughs> Here, and while I've got the gray, I can kind of put in a couple of those little dots I talked about. Oh, it's not showing. Might need a little lighter color. All right. Is that good enough? I need to, I really want to pick it up and get it in my bifocals. I never switched. Ah, 
I never switched from my party glasses. I had on my pretty fun glasses for the intro. That's easier not to tilt my head. At the was, end of the video. <laughs> well, it's just because, you know, to get it in yeah. the reading part, I, I was tilting the big glasses. They're deeper. Yeah. So I have to tilt my head yeah. you know, another couple inches. We saw you poke into frame. Oh, did we? Yeah, just like the tip. Of, like, basically, it was kind of a weird angle because you see, like, the inside of your glasses and, like, the tip <laughs> of your nose. You probably saw my tongue wagging, too. <laughs> so now that I've, I've shared my single house saga. Yeah, your single house. It's a, literally a house. It's yeah, been a it's week. a big deal, and it was stressful. Yeah. Well, and it's just like, we don't, like, I mean, obviously that's the first house I've ever, either of us have ever Oh yeah. tried to, or thought about buying officially. You know, like, we've run numbers and stuff, but, like, I mean, that was, like, we put actual offer on actual house. So now I'm going to, just like we have the, um, unless people are, like, you know, get sick of it and tell me to go away, we're going to have to have a weekly update of, did Emily see a house this week? <laughs> Or this past week. Yeah, house of house hunting going. Yeah. And on this week of house hunting in Omaha. <gasps> That's the drama. There's the drama. We open with that. Mm-hmm. It'll be like a one of those because like Emily one of those breaks slides down and cries. Emily's breaking down and crying. Yeah, we'll we'll put me in the thumbnail crying. Oh, I kind of <laughs> messed messed up my foot shape. I have a little unbleached titanium. I don't know if it matters if you want to go impressionistic. I like those swipeys you've been doing. I do too. Mm-hmm. They're cute. I don't know that I like it, but yeah. it's oh, getting, like it. It, it, well, the video smooths it out, so there. But it's getting there. Mm-hmm. It says foot. <laughs> well, the, sometimes it matters. It's like, what is that? Mm-hmm. No, it does say foot. It says foot. As the kids would say, it's giving foot. Oh, I don't know what that means. I know. That's why, the, as the kids would say. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'll get a little lesson um, off camera. Bonita says, okay, explain the swipes. So, oh, go ahead, Emma. Oh, no, no. You can take over from there. Oh, just instead of painting with a little brush, like I'm doing on the... Oh, I really don't like that foot. Hang on. Just, I don't know. I messed it up. Okay, I like that better. Um, so instead of painting with a little brush and little details like I am on the foot. I take a bigger brush. Where do we need some color? Um, here, let's pull a color there. I'm gonna take a little red, a little yellow, and just kind of make an orange-ish. I don't know, maybe, I, actually maybe I want it lighter. That turned pretty dark I me. Mean, let's just take some orange. And then I, I just swipe for a brush stroke. Oh, that doesn't show. See if I want orange there. So it's a big brush stroke, and we're calling them swipeys. Very technical. I don't know if you can see them. Maybe if I grab a little red here, will you see it? I mean, you don't exactly. So you that's can see like where a, you're swiping. That's a big comma. Mm -hmm. And then the layers help me. My red's getting kind of dry. And the layers will help me so I can do big swipes mm -hmm. as I come over. That's a good angle. Some of the color. And then I'm like, whoops. My poor little metal thing he's standing on. So I hope that helps a little bit. And then I could take a little white, a little yellow. Because I really don't like how red that is right there. There, you'll be able to see those swipeys better. Oh yeah, I like the, I mean, it's a little slow, like obviously, or like mine lags. I like the lighter color over the mm -hmm. true, like the poppy red. That's how the layers help you. It, uh, yeah, it goes with the swipeys that go off of him. 
I'm, I'm going to make a guess about beginner painters, and I don't know that it's true. I think they don't play with it enough, and it, their layers aren't necessarily thin enough that they can keep going, oh, so let's work on. Oh, it's kind of like um, you, you have to, if I mean, working with colored pencil is the same. Like the second oh, totally you, the same. If you push and like fill that color in completely right away, you can't blend because the paper won't take any more. And I mean, like you can always paint more on top, but like, Sometimes you can, it just... Yeah, it just gets really thick. So it's kind of the same. It is, very mm -hmm. very much the same. That's why I was trying to get people to do the blobs in the color pencil and the art tips on mm -hmm. the playlist. Because you'll learn shading, you'll learn layering. Yeah. You know, you don't have to worry it's a blob. You don't, it's, you don't have yeah. to make it look like a cardinal. Mm -hmm. You can just do all kinds of blob shapes and practice. So these, are, I'm still doing swipies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the lighter layer on top of that bright red that you added on yeah, his chest. That makes it look better. That makes it look better. Mm -hmm. And maybe not to you, but to me, I think it looks better too. There's, there's, art is so subjective. When people are like, what's wrong? I don't know what to tell them. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, what's bothering you? Can help me. Yeah. Yeah. Help me better. Yeah. Um, but like when they say, what's wrong with my painting? I don't like it. I'm like, well, there's a lot of things that are right. And I don't know what things are bothering you. Mm-hmm. So, so a lot of times I'll just say, oh, this is right and this is right. And, I, and sometimes I'll say, oh, I'm, are you, is this bothering you? Because mm -hmm. you can go as abstract or as whatever as you want to go. Don't like that. Mm. Tammy says, um, she says, I'll go first. I'm not a fan of the external swipes. Maybe if smaller, internal ones are great, but you're the pro, so you know more. I think it's just like a... No, it's not everybody... It's like not everybody yeah. likes Impressionism. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Not. So you could totally do Sam Cardinal, no swipies. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've been doing it. I did it on the Corgi. I've just been doing it lately. I did it on the Corgi. I did it in the... the. It's your trend. <laughs> yeah, it's my new trend. It's the trend that you're it's moving the new into. Trend. I've done it on the last... I don't know how many videos. And sometimes you don't even notice it. Yeah, sometimes they are a, li um, a lot softer. I was, yeah, I was trying to think of that. I was look, when you were doing those. I was looking around for one that has it. Oh, that little landscape up above my, um, the, the the not the little the colorful landscape has it. Oh, really? Yep. It has swipes up from the ground up. Oh. Mhm. Mm but you don't really see them unless well, I pull them out. But I'm thinking like the where the because like the last cardinal has the swipes going off of him. Yep, he does. Um, the rooster has swipes that I showed in the beginning. Going off of him? Uh huh. Um, the couple tails and his blue chest. I'm going to look at him. <laughs> but see, I know because I painted it. Oh, he does. Should I show it on camera? Yeah. So he's got it. Am I correct? He's got it like right there. Yep. Sometimes they blend in more. Yeah. So I just totally took blue um, in here. Hopefully that's on, on there, there. Uh, you can't really tell in here because I've got so much going on. Mostly the bit, the, the probably the most obvious one was there, and then I took my finger and went like that. Should I get it closer? And you don't have to like it. Totally get that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm eventually going to land on what sells the best. You know? Mm -hmm. Like if I get a hot item, or like just cows in general sell. Okay, so if we don't like it, should we see if we can lift it up still? It's been a little bit. Let's test it. Oh, I still can. Lighten it up a little more. I don't, uh, how long can you wait to lighten up paint? I don't know. Uh, weather conditions affect it. Mm -hmm. um, with watercolor, you can tell kind of the shine of your paper. Oh, no, watercolor, if it's good paper, it'll handle the scrubbing. Most colors you can lift up. Some stain. I'm out of practice on which one's stain. Does that maybe better? Yeah. I really like the, I see what they, I, I don't mind the one that's off of his head and the one that's off of the far, the right side of him, but I, I, I didn't love the one there, but. Well, let's fix it. I think because all the others are very straight and he had like a curve to him, I don't know. My oh, I did be. stare at him a lot more. Could be. Could be. But I do like, be. I love, I, I, I don't know if you ever posted anywhere, but the photo of the. Do you already have that one online, or did you just text that to me, probably? Oh, my gosh, you do. Okay. 
I, I really like the external swipeys on the, um, la on the last cardinal. I also don't know if these swipeys stick out more because your background on the other one is more swipey. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to say, let's see, same card. Let's see, same cardinal. What am I saying? Same cardinal? Same cardinal. And I, and the thing is, is like, this is also. Your fight gives me a chance to paint without talking. How, like, you you fiddle with this other cardinal more. So, like, the swipeys probably won't be as prominent if you end up, you know, because I feel like when we leave you, sometimes you'd stare, at, just like you say, you stare at the painting, then tomorrow you're like, oh, I need to do that. Mm -hmm. And you add to it, and then you don't notice them as much, you know? I don't, I don't do it, I just do it for one day, I don't, like. Yeah. I, I won't varnish it, I'll look at it the next day and go. Mm -hmm. Oh, plus it needs to dry anyway, so mm -hmm. I'm not gonna varnish it anyway. But yeah. So that might be better, I'm, um, I'm gonna let that dry. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, I'm going to see if I can get away with it. Come back with a little more orange. So what I did, but I kind of painted it all out, is I was trying to put some little stronger edges. Mm -hmm. So then maybe it wasn't too... So now, so one thing you can do, um, I wouldn't worry about right away. I would worry about values and shading before you worry about edges. Um, but you can start playing with your edges to make your paintings more interesting. I, I get things that happen all the time I don't like. But ultimately, the layers almost always help me. Yeah. Watching you um, ah. paint lives as opposed to, like, the, the time fast-forwarded yeah. time-lapse. Or, like, the you've done a, quite a, you've done a couple that are just, like, real-time recently, too. But the flowers are different as well. Um, it definitely... I definitely noticed that, like, it's all in your layers, in my opinion. I mean, not, like, it's not all in your layers, but, like, there's a big difference in, you know, layer one of your painting versus it's done. Don't you and think it's just the layers. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, what? Don't you think that's true with a lot of mediums, a lot of art? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not one and done, usually. Okay. Are we pretty much done? I'm just playing. Should I keep yeah. playing, guys, or do you want... Do you have questions? I don't, I'm not saying goodbye just yet, but give you a little time for mm -hmm. feedback. I'm glad I did the swipeys and I got some feedback. I, I was just sure someone wasn't going to like it because, I mean, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird and it's not everybody's cup of tea. And, you know, I have, I'm in a gallery with 35 other artists and different, all kinds of different things sell. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not going to. Well, even just like the different. Please, everybody. I think I like the, um, there's. I'm trying to think. I don't think, like, two people are really the same. Or, like... Yeah. Um, you no, know, because there's, a there's a, there's another a lady... Oh, sorry. Uh, go ahead. No. Um, I don't know who, um, who it is or who painted it, but the the big, colorful cow, that's pretty... It's oh. more simplistic of a cow. Mm -hmm. Joan Federer. Okay. Uh, like, I mean, she's paint she painted a cow, and you've painted cows, but your cows are vastly different. Like, her is, yeah. her cow is literally, like, yellow... And I think, is it primary colors, mostly? I can't remember. Yeah, even some really hot ones. Yeah, it's yeah, like, it's almost very like intense yeah. in color. And it's very, like... Graphic. Yeah. And more of just, like, a simplified cow. Yeah. But still, you're painting a cow, but it's two very different uh, cows. She sells. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. There, I was going to say, there's a gal who paints birds, but even we're different enough. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. And... Mm-hmm. Your guys' birds are different. I sold a rooster when I was there doing a paint demo, and she sold... Like eight little cardinals to one person. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. Everybody likes something a little different. Mm -hmm. That's what's great about YouTube. You can watch. Let's see, I need to look at my reference. You can watch so many different artists. Mm -hmm. Andrew Tischler? Tischler is a fantastic oil painter. Um, Paul Ranton just joined our Facebook group. Hmm. And he's got a nice painting tree tutorials he just recently posted. Um, shout out to Paul. You guys might like that one. He talks about don't do chicken feet and don't do pitch forks, which are great visuals to remember. Mm -hmm. And he, he paints like Bob. He does 
He's a Bob Ross certified painter. But those little things can really help you. And I can't think of every little thing, you know. You might like, you guys might like that. Right at the end, a good tip. You might like Paul's video. Is it? You can post it in the group. Is it like two, literally two days ago? Yeah, I think he painted it black and white. And he also used a sponge. Okay. It's, uh, to my, if it is, it's, because it, the, the previous painting is a part two to that. So I'm just assuming it's his. Um, it's, it's sunlight looking through tr a lot of trees and a path. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay. And I it's think. a Bob Ross painting anyone can paint is the name. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he had some great tips in there. He used a sponge, which was fun. Yeah. I'll throw it in the chat and then I'll also, I'll put it in the group. I paint Bob Ross trees sometimes. Mm hmm Yeah. I haven't poked around. I still haven't poked around much, but when I, when I do, when I'm on like your YouTube to upload or something, um, and I see art thumbnails i do like it's almost it's almost kind of like the gallery vibe like everyone kind of has a different style which is nice oh everybody's good it's fun but yeah. i mean I, I suppose if you're really good at copying and you're like forger quality then you're yeah <laughs> most people are the people that like restore paintings yeah let's see paul's i think it's ranson isn't it or -N -S -S. Yes. What was the tip that you liked in there again? Oh, um, how to paint trees. He, he, well, in the spine, there's this, it's a good video. Okay. And I think a lot of Bob Ross is a good way to start for people too. I'm starting from a, you know, my videos are like, I've been an art kid. I've been an artist my life, my whole life. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily painting in acrylics, but sorry guys, I can't talk and mix. No. <laughs> um, so sometimes that's not helpful for people. Mm hmm which is why I let other YouTube artists in the Facebook group. You might see some. And besides, they could join the group anyway. I might not know they're on YouTube. And then you could go behind the scenes and message them and find out what the video was. We might as well just post it for convenience. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I'm not going to try to police everything. I just want to keep it to creative stuff. You know, I took this photo. I made this cake. I crocheted. Yeah. Oh, I said crochet. <gasps> um, crocheted this thing. You know. Took this photo. I think already said that. But I thought the way that um, oh uh, the uh, and I said that Bonita agreed, correct? The way that um, Tammy and Bonita phrased the feedback was perfect. You know. Oh yeah, that. I mean, I'm not super. I, I don't know. I made no. it sound like I'm super sensitive. No. I just get some like, wow. I don't think they meant that, but wow. Yeah. Like. Well, I just, I think when like it's the stray comment on a video that's like, however old. Like they probably don't even think you'll ever see. <laughs> yeah, they don't know that. I look at absolutely everything. Yeah. And but, I try to come yeah. back. I was two days late commenting on uh, Instagram. Yeah. I forget that you post, too, there. Emily posts for me, which helps a ton. And Facebook isn't letting you post um, to Instagram? It. I mean, I can. It just doesn't post the copy. And I think it's just because your copy is so long. Because when I, if I schedule other posts that are a lot shorter, then it goes. Well, you can cut the copy. I did, but like it still doesn't, I don't know what. Mm -hmm. I doesn't like it. I don't know if it's the copy of the paste that I'm doing. We should probably like have that. a meeting <gasps> at some a point. Meeting. Yeah. And, uh, you know, think about things we need to tell each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just playing now, too. I wonder if I can add Paul. I am pretty much done. What's fun is when I'm doing a paint demo down at a gallery. And it's funny because, like I say, you know, my name's Annie. If you have any questions, let me know. So, I mean, they could figure out that all the tags that say Annie, it's my art. I'm the only Annie there. And they'll just say, oh, God, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, and it's okay. Yeah. That does not bother me. But it's kind of funny. Like, I am sitting here. And then if they, they get embarrassed, I'm like, it is totally fine. You're, yeah. There are, and I'll, then I remind them there are 35 artists here and you're not going to like every one of them. Our strength is in our numbers because, you know, then we appeal, appeal to a ton of people. I'm just playing with a little yellow. I probably should do a screenshot. I could work on the feet some more. Oh, could put the highlight in the eye. Put a little white in there and I'll do a screenshot. Oh, yeah, those, I like the... I'm looking at the thumbnail of Paul's videos because I'm going to post it in the group. Yeah. I really like the light coming through the trees. That's pretty. Yeah, and he shows you how to do it. I never liked Bob Ross as a kid because he was so slow. What 
you mean? He painted like a whole painting in an hour. <laughs> well, that's a little <laughs> for a little kid. That's probably pretty slow. So what I want to do, what bugs me a little bit, is just the. I want a little more shape to the side of the foot. Um, that's just a personal bug, and my paints are drying out on me. I could work on the nails a little bit more. Oh, he's got a little nail. I forgot here. You really, it's really hard to see. Let's see, we don't really need, do we need to hold it here? So I'll quit moving it. We'll just start here and I'll get closer. I had a woman say that she takes screenshots because she'd rather paint for my painting than the reference photo. I get that. Yeah, I do too. I get that. So that's why I'm doing this. I'll, um, I instead of, oh, sorry. No, I was just going to say, I forget sometimes to do it. Um, if I'm, like, trying to, okay, like, how do I draw an elephant? Or, like, I can't remember what an elephant looks like. I would much rather look at a drawing of an elephant than a photo of an elephant. Yeah, that's a little looser. I like it. Mm-hmm. He's sweet. I like tight, too. I mean, don't he get says me wrong. Hi. Yeah, your other one is a little tighter, but, I mean, that's just because, you know, you probably... Oh, I putzed, putzed with it. Yeah, you putzed over him. And I think the eye's okay. So the eye in the reference photo is quite dark brown. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I don't like the glowing eye. And I could also make the be the beak glow a little more. Um, but a lot of times I'll start lighter with the eye and, and then get darker and darker and darker until I like it. And sometimes I get lucky and I like it this way. You guys might li not like that eye either. It's only, It could be a little devilish, a little too glowing, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Paint it how you like it, of course. Um, just say that since we're popped in my head, I guess. So now I'm thinking, I mean, you can, how do you know when you're done? When you're tired of painting. Or take a break. You know, an hour and a half is a plenty for me. I would go get a hot chocolate, go get the mail, go, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, we might like that a little better. I don't know. Lighten that back. You know, you can go lighter, darker, lighter, darker, lighter, darker. Okay, guys, I am done. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you paint this one. Do I need to give anybody a little bit more time to make comments or questions? Or? I don't think so. Nothing has popped in. I have in. not looked at the chat. Oh, it looks pretty good when I, at, the, at a distance. That's also a good test. Mm -hmm. Stepping back from it, do you like it? Because sometimes I'll be on top of it. And I'm like, this is too loose for me. But I get back from it, and I'm like, ah, mm -hmm. the values are good. Yeah, I, I love could, his belly. I could go a little darker here, if you want to get. <laughs> um, I don't know. It just kind of yeah. depends. I don't have a real strong light source. I might do this and dislike it. I like the brown and the red. That was fun, and I think that's easier than mixing with a cranacridone. I give him a little more chest. Swipey. Swipey swipe. <laughs> swipe or no swiping? Was that on PBS? Yeah. No, that's uh, that? Dora from Do Nickelodeon. Oh, Dora the Explorer? Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. Thank you for all your comments and input. It helps me grow as an artist, too. I really, really appreciate that. I really appreciate all your support. The I think I already said the likes, comments, the shares, um, sending money for the traceables, supporting the channel. It means the world to us. Great, big, happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.